Yeah, yeah. What's good, happy people? Ah, good morning, good afternoon, Live at evening, yes. everywhere. Where? What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's good tonight yeah. or today. The to morning, to morning. Beautiful today. Yo, it was mad nice. <laughs> it's an absolute fact. It's not. It's like it's not winter anymore. Oh, I mean, See, the thing I like about this weather is like it's perfect. Cause you, I feel like I could go outside with a shirt on. Just Without a shirt. a shirt on? No, with like just a shirt. No, no, I got what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was like, it's definitely not that nice. <laughs> no, nah, it, nah, it was nice. But I, mean, I know it was, it was nice. nice. It was super nice. I went outside for a little bit. But see, you live more by the water though, don't you? Uh, so it's probably... nah, it's not really that brick over there. Like, oh, I don't nah. feel I live far enough in, and mm-hmm. I don't feel like the wind going crazy over there. Okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, nice. I like this weather because it's like it's not too cold and it's like not what too hot for bugs on? to be out and like mosquitoes. Because <laughs> you know, like I be using all the, the all natural stuff, Listen. so I'm just like a roasted, glazed pig to these mosquitoes. And stuff. So it's like, <laughs> all I you love need this weather. Is some right now. Uh, some tea tree oil, you'll be all right. Yeah, like mint and all that stuff that works, but I don't want to put all that stuff. Like, eucalyptus <laughs> works too. It makes you smell mad good. Nah, that's a, some of that stuff be too minty. I don't, I don't be smelling like a. Uh, a peppermint patty. <laughs> All right, so what are we gonna talk about today? What we, um, what we got on the agenda. Today's agenda. Do we want to get that? Is his ring, name so Smooliet? Smulliet? Jesse Smulliet? Whatever his name. Jason is. or Jesse? Jesse. I don't even watch Empire to be honest. Facts. Um. Oh man. Shout out to Fifty oh. though. Ha. Fifty um, Cent is a clown. <laughs> mad funny. He's guy. a smart man though. No, smart no, business no, man no, at I'm least. I'm not mad at him. I'm just saying. Speaking of smart people, um, the one who is not Floyd Mayweather, what do you think about that whole thing? <laughs> I mean, I don't really blame him because it's Floyd. The Gucci thing? Yeah, I don't really blame him. Like, I, I can't be mad at him. I mean, you do whatever you want to do. That's what I'm saying. It like, just shows who you are and what the type of person that how you like to live your life. That's all. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> live your life however you feel like living your life. Plus, it's Floyd. It's not. I'm not taking Floyd seriously. <laughs> Like he's a he he. One thing he knows probably the only thing he does know is know how to make money. That's he knows it. how to make and, tons and, and tons of money. Doesn't have to make money and fight. That's the only this two things fact. he knows. So fact. I'm not, you know, if he says something, I don't really take it seriously. <laughs> okay, understandable. Um, understandable. How do you feel about it? That's what I mean. I like. I mean, I get what the I get why it's an issue. I get why everyone's mad. But I don't know. He's gonna do whatever he wants to do, no matter what. Yeah. It's like, even if he knows, he's still gonna do whatever he wants. Facts. Like, no. like, but this, the thing I don't like is like this partial, um, like, ban thing that Ti did. Like, do it for three months. It's either you go all in or you don't. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> it sounds so corny. Like, it does. We're gonna put them on timeout. Yeah, for three months. <laughs> for three months, we're we'll, gonna stick we'll sh- together. <laughs> we'll show them. We'll show them. <laughs> yeah, they won't get our months, our money for three months. But wait till they drop something fire. I'm going to be there. Facts. Like, come on now. Like, they was wearing Gucci at the All-Star game and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, like, like you, you feel they me? Didn't, they didn't. I feel like people stopped caring. And, you know, the thing is, is I don't care if you, like, if you still going to wear Gucci. That's fine. But don't be fake and be like, oh, yeah, this is an outrage, but still wear Gucci. <laughs> yeah, like, come yeah, on. No, just be true. real. But, like, I don't care. If, it's, don't if you care. just say, I don't care, like, Then okay. that's okay. Yeah. I understand your position now. I understand that you're, that's how you feel. You just don't care. I don't know. I don't know. But what about this? Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Jesse. Jason, Jesse Smoley. Jason Smoley. Jesse. Um, he staged his own beating. <laughs> he staged allegedly, his own ass over. Allegedly, we don't know yet. Boy, the gay Tupac staged all of it. <laughs> gay Tupac <laughs> he called himself the gay Tupac. Did he really? He really did. What? Yeah, oh you didn't see that? God, nah. Yeah, he was on stage. He was like, "Yeah, they tried to beat me. I am the gay Tupac." Oh nah. <laughs> All right, dead ass. He said that. I was reading the article <laughs> when I was walking to the show. Yo, bro, what does that even mean? And <laughs> they said he was doing drugs. He was doing drugs. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So what? he said they said one of the dudes who they who one of the dude, like one of the African dudes. He said he used to be like his plug. Pretty much for like what kind for like of drugs? like like celebrity drugs. That's what the that's celebrity what the coast, drugs. So I'm guessing that's coke and cocaine and like yeah. everything. Yeah, that booger sugar. Yeah, booger sugar. But uh, I maybe, feel like maybe that's what happened because I'm just still trying to figure out like why if if this is you know the, the false reports are true, uh-huh. why'd you do it? Like 
Because he wanted to make make America great people make America great people look bad. He did that. He 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 said that. Like he was like they had two MAGA hats or mega hats. But you and then they two came black and beat me up. It. Two yeah, that dark was real dumb. <laughs> African. That was dumb. Not even no light skins. They and they chose were to some Nigeria. <laughs> Rolic. <laughs> Like, you probably They're don't like even know what feet. MAGA is. Like. It's like six feet tall. Word. Word. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just <laughs> maybe he just maybe this wasn't receiving enough attention. Like I heard, like there's like gossip that like he, he was about to like to die off the show or something like that. But oh, I don't really? know if that's true or not. But it's like maybe he just wanted attention. I guess. I don't know. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it comes out to why he did it. Yeah, like really. I want the, whole, I want like, the truth. I want the whole like, truth. Even if you, you know, if it's true, let's say why you did just it. You're gonna go to jail regardless. They, regardless. They, he's going they to be locked up, up right now. So um, yeah, he might get what is it, three years? But I feel um, like I think it's like three to five years or something like that. But I know he like it's like only hundred thousand uh, dollar bond or whatever, bail or whatever. Oh yeah. So he but can, I feel like, like any time. if they do if they do that to this guy. Then you got to go back or not go back if they can go back, but you can't because it's like double jeopardy. No, yeah. not necessarily because this would be a whole new charge. You could bring it on the people who have all the other people who have filed face cl- false claims on other people. But it's the police that are charging him, though. It's not like a person. Why don't the police ever charge anybody else when they do this? Why are they just now charging him when there have been a whole bunch of other cases before? Where someone else has been falsely accused and nothing's happened to them. Why are the police taking so much of an interest in this? Is it because of his platform? I don't know, but let's not let's not take I'm not, I'm any not blame is, away from him. If no, 100%. 100%. Yeah. But why is this one getting so much? Why are the police charging this guy? They You've never seen a case where the police have charged anybody else to, for making make, a fake report. He tried to look, uh, he tried to make MAGA look bad. That. <laughs> yeah, look bad, so like, I oh, guess that's no. must, that must be what it is. But. Cops said you're not gonna disrespect our click. All right, <laughs> you ain't messing with the click, click. But like seriously though, think about it. Nobody else, like in recent times, you haven't seen a case where someone files a report, turns out it's false, and then the cops are like, "Whoa, we're gonna charge you now with wasting our time or something." You've never seen that before. I've heard small, like it doesn't happen. But you've often, heard people, happen. you've heard other people counter sue. You've never heard the cops. Sue. It not happens. When? Um, NYPD has, has counted, counted sued a, lot, a bunch of people. For making face making false bunch, claims? For a bunch of stuff, yeah. Like false claims, not a bunch of stuff. False yeah, claims. a bunch of false claims for like oh, different really? things, yeah. I've never heard that. Yeah, I guess it's because he's like a big celebrity that's going to be more outspoken. Or like more in the media. I mean, I never really even heard of dude, really. So yeah, I, mean, I, I, I didn't know who he was before this. And I'm not. I'm not saying that because he's, you know, whatever. But it's, yeah. I just never heard of him. Yeah, I, I never watched the show. Yeah, me it's either. I, I never. Yeah, no, nah, it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Um, what was I going to talk about? Ah, there was something I was going to say. Oh, did you see that Galaxy, the Fold? No, you haven't seen that. There's a new video of it. What? They just did the unpacking. Uh, Samsung of unpacking the S10. of the S10, and they had the Galaxy Fold. Oh, two racks. Now explain to the people the Galaxy Fold. The Galaxy not Fold educated. is a folding phone. So it's a phone on the front. The front's like 4.3, 4.6 inches. It's mad. Like It's not a small screen. It's like a narrow screen. I believe mm-hmm. the resolu- the thing on that's like 21 by 9. Something like that. Something like that. It looks, it's like mad narrow. And then they got a, if you fold it open on the inside, uh, it has two screens on it or not two screens but it's like one folded screen like a tablet it, and that's on the inside it's like a 7.3 inch screen so you got a whole tablet and a phone it has two batteries that make one battery it's like it, it looks fire i think it got three cameras on it. it has a telephoto lens a wide angle lens and a regular lens that can change the aperture See, it's wild the only thing i don't like about it um, is that it's like kind of too big? Like if it was like the size of this phone and it folded like that, it's about it's smaller than no, this. No, 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 it's big. It's not that. It's like big. unless I haven't, but I haven't seen the what final product. Big? Yeah, back, no, 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 no. It was yeah, huge. no, no, no. It that one was huge. This. No, it's smaller than that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. It's smaller than that. So, um, just give me one second. <laughs> I 
Yeah, you straight. Yeah, I don't know what to talk about now. So, yeah, it's smaller than that, and it's like 7.3 inches QH. It's not. It's got a whole QWGHD nah, Keep on educating these plus. brainless iPhone users. <laughs> I'm not brainless because they... Uh, but nah, they brainless. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, get an iPhone. I'm tired of seeing the green bubbles. Yo, get out of here, bro. Like, I don't care. Except, except my green bubbles. Word. Facts. Like, is that really Look, a big deal? Like, I think it is. Amongst iPhone no, people. No, because I have an iPad and I message people a lot, but it's like. They were, oh, it's, really it's not a big bubbles. deal. I don't know. It's a big deal to simple minded people. This is true. See, <laughs> you got both. So, what, what do you like? What do you like better? Well, I'm like, what do I like better? Um. For communication with people with iPhone, iPhone is better, and and the the camera, it's not a better it's not a better camera than um Android, but it's like a um, it's better to view, like it's a better like it's a better quality picture, mm -hmm. like um like when you post something on Android on Snap or something like that, like it really why. looks bad, like, yeah. <laughs> like because like, Snap is trash. They did, but the, is they did it a certain does it way, too, though. Like, Oh, what is, you mean? It's like you could tell the difference if somebody posted something with an Android versus an iPhone. Like I could post, I I could record something in four K, look beautiful on, on my, your phone, and then by my post it to IG or Snapchat, it's like all it just goes. To that's how I feel like they they all lit it together. Like that's they're like, yo, fact. you want you to look I nice. See that. I think they have like some deal iPhones. or something nah, like they that. They got no crazy deal. They just they just lazy coders. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why Snapchat dying off anyway. Snapchat's dead. Yeah. They've been dead. It Snapchat's really They is. posted that dumb shit about Rihanna. <laughs> Happy Word. belated birthday, and then by the way. they changed the app up. Oh, it's, it was her birthday? Uh, not too long ago. Yeah, two days ago, I think. Oh. Happy birthday, Riri, even though you'll never hear this. Maybe. Not she will one day. <laughs> so you said you like the iPhone better. For communication. For communication. With people Android with is. Yeah, Android. <laughs> it's like uh, iPhone is is simple. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's easy to maneuver for a phone. But Android, I feel like they have more apps, more Thanks. things you could do. You could download stuff for free. You could do a whole lot. Um, but overall, I feel like... I feel like the way I'm feeling right now, because I'm about to just have, like, a, uh, I'm about to down... Like, I, I'm at a point in my life where I got to, like, just start making, like more conscious decisions for like budget so it's like mm, i i, I want to get like a like a, i'm kind of excited about getting like a flip phone like because i missed the days where it's like a phone just was like a um was it just a way to communicate real quick and do anything like that like like i feel like i'll get too distracted with having a phone that could do everything you get mm. what i'm saying like if you you got entertainment at your at your fingertips at your fingertips it's like you're not even really connected with people face to face. Like I mean, even though before, even even when we didn't have that, we still had some. Oh, we got a caller. Oh, what's good, caller? Yo, what's good? What's good? Hey, what's <laughs> good? <laughs> what's what up, racking? bro? Yeah, I had to, First of all, I, I, I had to call into my favorite. Sh you know what I'm saying? Live at nine, watching all the way from Syracuse, New York, showing hey, that love. Yeah. Show love. That's what's up, bro. <laughs> how's how's life love? up there in Syracuse? Uh, man, it's cold. It's, cold <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a cold world. It's a cold, cold world. Yeah, because y'all right by Canada. That's a fact. Yeah, it's, 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 it's up here, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what's good? Yo, shout out Team Android 2. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Hey. I, I look like... Uh, <laughs> I look like Roblox when, uh, when I'm taking a picture, but, you know... <laughs> you know, you know, you know <laughs> ball on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Oh, but it's Android all the way though. So when Android you all the way. when you get a new phone, you think you're gonna get another So you you gonna like go back, like get a I'm flip going, phone? Yeah, I don't You, you gonna be phone? like him and get like a Blackberry or something? Nah, I would get like a flip phone. Yeah, Blackberry is a way more advanced. I would get a phone, phone that, that doesn't like even make sense. I'm just using it for communication. That's well it. you could get the folding phone we was talking about. Yeah, like right. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> That's a two thousand dollar phone. True. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. I'm going downgrade. Yeah, that's a, a huge <laughs> yeah. upgrade. You know I mean? That's a yeah. That's yeah, a gigantic I'm upgrade. I'm trying to upgrade like in investments, upgrade in like I wanna do I wanna really like invest in myself a lot more. I feel like I invest my time and energy into the wrong stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even with like I'm taking a break from smoking, like it's very, very difficult, but Gotta it's something I got to do. 
That's the only way to sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not really a sacrifice. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a sacrifice. No, I'm saying, but you got to still sacrifice. You have other to things. sacrifice stuff to yeah. move forward. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a sacrifice because when you say sacrifice, that means a, it's a bad thing. No, so you're just not taking at all. a break. No, not at all. It's a sacrifice. That's a sacrifice, especially if it's something you. I didn't really sacrifice like. so much free time, knowing time ain't free. What the fuck? And I sacrificed it. <laughs> okay, there's, there's some bars Sean. right there. Shout out to Big Sean. Big Sean, yeah. yeah. You gotta like, um, it's like it comes a point where you just gotta be like, I right, is this really, really like helping me as much as I say it is? Yeah, or is how much it, you like, think it is? It's how much? And it's like the way that I think without it, it's like. Are we talking about weed right now? Yeah, I don't do nothing else. Oh, but, I thought we were just talking about sacrifices. Right. Oh, and sacrifices in general. It's like when you make that. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, like social media. You think like I think I, I, I spend too much time on I that. Feel like I'm I guilty. Spend too much time on you, social media. You gotta um, utilize social media right. Don't be on it all day checking to see what people post. You gotta nah. I mean, took, I mean, I, like I use it for inspiration, but it's like you can always get distracted. It's always like different things going on. And I'm like, I I like I want to use it to promote my music and promote myself, but then at the same time, I want to just be like, I want to go three months without just being, being on, social on it and see at what I get inspired by without the like, world, bro. Yeah. Like, just go out for like, like hikes. But then you go on your hikes. <laughs> <laughs> like, you right, there, bro. Looking for like, <laughs> I mean, getting nice, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Now we got to do a live at nine hike. Why did it get mad loud all of a sudden? Oh, turn okay. it up, turn it up. <laughs> turn it up. <laughs> Can you turn mine up? <laughs> <laughs> Here you we go. Hey, all right. Do you guys feel like you guys could uh, be without like social media? Cause I feel Absolutely. like you miss out on so much. You miss out on what? What'd you miss out on? Like this? Like, honestly, I I barely know about the the thing we were talking about. The, the Smulliet guy, whatever his name is. I didn't know about that. It's not important. But everybody's talking about it. But is it important? No, that's that's what I'm it doesn't matter. That's what well, I'm <laughs> to a certain extent, because you want to, like, you know. But why is it important to you? Because you want to stay educated on, like, what's on going what? on. What's it, how is that important to you? How does like, that improve your life? Cause to be more educated. But how does that knowing about what he did improve your life? It's not you're not getting educated. Just to know, but like history of like history of what? Like false accusations and bruh, stuff like that. Bruh, stop. And like hate crimes. <laughs> stop. But how does that help you? In well, how, your did, life? how did that help you knowing all this Maybe fake information? Maybe I'm gonna need to talk about that one day. I'm talking. You to can some literally dude use your common sense to talk about hate crimes. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you though. I feel you. It's like you want to know what's going on in the world, but like but when I st- when I see what's going on in the world, I'm like I really don't care. Like, yeah, that's a fact. That's <laughs> it's a like fact. yeah, this is what's going on in the world. I'm rather stay in my world. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just do what I gotta do to help myself get better. That's a fact. Like, see, like there's yeah. nothing on social media that's like that important right now. And that's what I'm saying. It's like with me, like I would go into like little like I would say like I would like. I would go into like places where like I would just cut people, not cut people off, but like just isolate myself and like just view my own thoughts and think what I think. So that's where I, I know that like my thoughts are like original. Like it's like pull a not, Kanye, go to Wyoming. Nah, I ain't going to Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing I would go to some. I want to go somewhere and just like like I said, I'm about to go to Virginia. Like I like like I like yeah, I have to ain't shit writing. to do there. That's yeah, perfect. like I like when I just have a I can clear my mind. Can hike write. in Virginia? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, hell of mountains. Dangerous. What are you talking about? I'm not dangerous. Doing it, but you can <laughs> but yeah, hell like, over there. it's like no, you don't even a lot have, of racism you, over there too. Oh hell yeah! Oh for real? Where? Virginia? Yeah. There's more black you people there. Charlottesville, like West Virginia. Oh that. Yeah, oh yeah, West Virginia. Yeah. That's a whole other state. Yeah, that's <laughs> a whole other state. <laughs> no, I know. I'm yeah, just that's what I'm <laughs> I know it's a whole other state. I'm just <laughs> you hear about West Virginia. It's not quite the same as the other Virginia. I feel you. Yeah. You know? right definitely. Racism. That's why I feel like like if, with if not, let's go to Colorado in the summer. I'm always down to go to Colorado. I'm not, I'm I'm, I was just there a couple months ago, so I'm down, down to go back. Let's you go. went to Colorado for what? Uh, graduation. Yeah. At the, uh, his, his boy was Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Thought that, I thought you went to your old school. That's yeah, I did. I, yeah. But I but went from uh, Denver because it's like cheaper flying to Denver than going there. Oh, okay. yeah. Got you a little it's whole, Yeah, it's a whole complicated <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's a whole complicated situation. It's like getting yeah. on the train and then I have to transfer. Yeah. It's <laughs> like it's like having to go to one part of New York, but like taking like the Long Island Railroad. Oh, somebody's calling me? This man. Do they want to be on the show? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Hello? Live at nine. You have a call. Yo, here, hold on. You got to call the line here. <laughs> wait, is genetics on? Yo. Yo, Kazo, you oh, still on the phone? You at? No, he did. Oh, damn. Yo, Kazo, thanks for calling Somebody in, call bro. Call He's doing I'm still a lot. bumping Glock 40. He, um, still bumping that. He got nominated for no, the Sammy Award. Shout out to him. Who? It's 
my cousin. Oh, what? Like, like, yeah, in Syracuse. Um, he's it's nominated for that, and I think he has a. Uh, he, he's going to be performing in March. He got like a lot of performances in March. I will be up there in March for for my godson's oh, birthday. Oh, word! Shout That's what's up. Shout Boogie. Um, yeah, so he's doing. His, he's definitely doing his thing, motivating me, and I gotta catch up. Does that really like inspire you? Nah, I promise you, it does. Like he always does. Like that's a fact. Like, Do you feel like, cause he's if he's booming and if you could make sound in like Syracuse and like you could like really get a crowd anywhere. Nah, he's popping like for real. And that's like a lot of like. And it's like it was, he's popping to the point that I was like, I can't believe it. Like I'm like, dude, like he really like 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 I remember you as kids, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it really, I really do be proud. Like it's not even like a full play back. Sorry See, about the that, guys. The question is, when you're gonna make music? That is a good question, yo. Yeah. It's just hey, you know, there we go. You got the caller. You got a caller. I put the number on Twitter too, so it might be somebody calling through that. Nah. <laughs> it's not. He just we, called Can we do phone. like a, a three way or a two way? Also, another person can call. Oh. Oh, look at this. Okay. Getting fancy. Okay, we can do that. We getting fancy. 2019. 2019 is doing the doing future. Doing all right. So is he here? Is this, Hello? Is this our caller? <laughs> <laughs> Caller number five, you have right, won no, no, call, nothing. Don't no, no pick up like I just won a prize. <laughs> <laughs> you picked up like I was calling 97. <laughs> Caller number two, what's up? Yo, what's good, man? What's, what's going on with y'all, man? Uh, we chilling. Chilling, man. Yeah, chopping it chilling. up. What's what y'all talking about right now, man? Ah, so well, uh, sacrifices, making uh, sacrifices yeah. in life to I'm get done? where you are. Oh, oh, not not oh, real right, sacrifices. Right. <laughs> 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 so I oh, called at the wrong time. I call y'all back in five minutes. Y'all going? I see the direction y'all going. What's good though, bro? So like, have you had like your boy? Your boy got into the meeting and said, "Listen." <laughs> we need to change the direction. <laughs> yeah. Killers. Word. Nah. Sac- what you mean? What you mean? Sacrifices like a bike? Yeah. Yeah. Sacrifices in life to get where you want to be. Because we were just talking about like getting off of social media for a little bit. Like doing a three month stint from social media and just like getting your mind and everything right. You know? Like what does social oh, media what? really bring to first you? First you know? of all, like Clint. First of all, Clint. You you always want to cleanse, man. It's a fact. I'm a I'm a I'm a firm believer in cleanse. Am I on speaker? Somebody can hear me? Yes. You we radio, all hear yeah. you. Oh I I <laughs> <laughs> You were literally firm, just here two weeks. You know how this works. Yo, I'm a firm believer in cleansing. Um <laughs> knocking off the social media for a little bit, really getting in mind right. Honestly, I'm one like uh I read, like I don't really got a TV, I'm more got a bookshelf. I mean, you do so, have a TV, too. Nah, but I'm more got a bookshelf more than anything. I feel yeah, you. First of all, you ain't been in my crib in that long. First, first off, I was at your crib not too long ago. <laughs> it was in yeah, the that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, that wasn't that long ago. That was exactly. there. Anyway, when Barry y'all read, like, a lot. And then even the TV, it's not, like, hooked up to nothing. Like, I, don't, I, I ain't go front. Like, I don't got, um... But for the exact purpose, like, I don't really watch TV. I don't, like, the news, obviously, I get on my phone and shit. But I like to read. I like to real, really cleanse, to get my mind right, get get really leveled with the center of the universe, man. So it's, when you get home, do you like read a lot? I would definitely say it's key to do things like that. So right. when you get home, do you like read a lot? Yo, can you hear us? Hello? Oh, he said his piece and dipped. Mm, <laughs> He's like, I read books. Yeah. <laughs> Click. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you read my books? <laughs> Click. <laughs> nah, yeah. Yeah. He'll probably call right back real soon. I got a lot of books that I bought that I got to start reading. I need to read more books. There he is. Oh, there he is. I just bought uh, Shook Ones by Charlemagne, too. Oh, nice. You still got that first one you're going to be borrowing? Yeah, you want Yeah. Nah, yeah, serious. I got you. Yeah, so we reading books at Live at 9. Where I don't know about the rest of you. I don't know. I don't know what they do. Yo, yo, yo. Y'all want to talk about a real spiritual book? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Let's do it. <laughs> read, yo, read, yo, read the Alchemist, man. I, I, feel, I probably that. read that like two hundred million times. The Alchemist. You want to get into something like really, really spiritual? Read the Alchemist, yo. Okay. Oh, one of my one of my favorite authors actually of all time. That's what's up. Nah, we are gonna put that on the live at nine uh, list. We should do we should a make book a book club. Word. I was just <laughs> the book list. We, we focus a lot on music. We do a lot on music, but we need to ed- do uh, education, self education. Uh, self promotion of, of one. Uh, Yo, another one, that. another one. 
the go giver. The go giver. I'm 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 giving y'all I'm say giving y'all heat right now. <laughs> I have read this one. This one is a good oh, one. Right? Yeah, I read it. Yes, I'm I'm kind of giving y'all heat. It is a good one. It's called the go giver. Who's yes, it by again? Giver. Um, damn that one I forgot. Um, no, oh, it's all good. Cool. But definitely it, everybody should read it. Is it like about a person who goes and gives stuff to people? You just gotta read it. I don't want to like ruin. Nah, you definitely, you, yeah, you definitely it. gotta read it. Nah, it's, it's good. It's good read though. Is it like a talking big book? about it? Is going like, like big like fuck you up. Mad pages. Um, nah, it's not Bob Berg. Boom. There you go. Bob Berg and there John Davis. That's his name. The go giver. Yeah. You. It's that really is like. Yeah, like, like that's new bestseller type shit. That's like, a fact. That's something up. that you could actually like implement into your real world. Oh, right. Yeah, and it, it works. I will say that. I had a couple people at the gym actually reading that while I was reading it. They Yo, were success, looking at me read it. They were like, what are you scratch. reading? There's another one. And they read it. What? I'm, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dropping bombs man, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where the air horns at? Where, where, <laughs> do you know the, the effects? Oh, she got it. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Yo, Success, Success from Scratch is another great book. I forgot who wrote that one. Out. Success from Scratch? Yeah. All right. These are all self-improving books that we're talking about right I'm now trying, people. yo honestly you want to you know nowadays the way the world is running and you want to be as in tuned with yourself to manifest your life into this universe nowadays that's a that's fact, a fact. That's that a is fact. very vital oh yeah yeah that's what like well, i remember a line that um styles p say that i, I really like live by he's like um he manifests he said something like his mind manifests and stuff and he shapes stuff and then he could go out and do it. And I'm like, yo, I really do. I was telling this girl at my job because she was telling me I, mean, I should make a vision board. And I'm, I'm going to make a vision board. But I was telling her like things that I envision in my head, like it becoming true. Like I just put it like I put a lot of energy into it and it just, like, it just does it like that. But I was like, if I had a vision board, like it probably would. I could do more stuff or something like that. Yeah. I feel like you need a vision board. You just have to have, to have a vision in this. If I had the vision and it'd be yeah, working. I feel like I mean, vision like, boards work. Do you feel like putting it down people, I don't helps. think it would, honestly, but I've never done it. So it's like I can't really say gotcha, that it gotcha. wouldn't. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. she, like, she's like, yeah, I made a vision board for every quarter of the year that I do like something. I was like, damn. I like, mean, if you see something and stare at it enough, it'll start to like ingrain in you. Like, damn, I really want to go out and do whatever it takes to get to X spot. You guys ever yeah. done it before? No, I'm, I plan on doing one because I was... <laughs> Like my y'all ex wanna, yo, y'all, was all talking about getting vision boards. I know what y'all want to do. So what? Uh, I mean, the vision board is cool. It's, it's, it's definitely optional if that's what you want to do in life. Yo, you want to lock in. No guys, you want to lock in the bare minimum of 10 things that you want to do and then do them in three months. Okay, that sounds good. So every three months, like you want to lock in, yo, these 10 things, this is what I want to do. And don't cheat yourself like, you know, I, I want to go like, to Mexico or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> something like, yo, I want to create this or I want to start this. I want to go here to create a goal while I'm there. You get at least 10, bare minimum, every three months. By the time 2020 is going to come around, you're going to be a totally different person. I can see that. Totally different person. I'm, I'm, like, I'm just, I don't know where the air horns are. I can't hear the flex bombs going off, but I'm, I'm <laughs> dropping it on you. Nah, yeah, that's a factor. Like, that's what I'm yeah, saying. You like, want to do ten minimum, ten minimum for the three months, and then lock in. Like, have a whatever it takes to get that. Get those ten things done. Like, you'll see after a while. Like, oh shit! Like, I really. I'm what if you don't get those ten things lot. done? Yeah. You got to push I mean, yourself to get I'm them saying. done. Like, when I when I that's the thing I do like. Like, when I do be smoking, like. I could put like a lot of shit together in my head, and I'll be like, "All right, this is the way I could do it," and then like I'm able to do it like that. But I'm like, "Damn, like if I could do that when I'm high, like I could probably do it ten times better if I was sober." Like, First off, you could do anything when you're high; you could do it when you're sober. But it's That's not that fun. But you can still do it. The fact that you can do it under under uh, the, influence. the influence of something proves that you can do it without that thing. That's true too. And let's not put a mm-hmm. let's not put a, uh, a negative connotation on, on marijuana. No, we're no, definitely not. not. I'm saying not. that if you like, I know that like I've done it for um, ten years straight, and it's like right. my brain. I feel like my brain is clouded, and I feel like I should take a break from it to like see how I'm living, like like in the life, like um, to see how I think in in the, in the realm now. that I am now. Yeah, yeah. exactly in the now because things are happening now. 
that like I was dreaming about when I was 10 years ago and I was like damn I'm smoking like damn I hope this happened and then all the people that I look up to they all be like yo like when I'm time when it's time for business like Jay-Z and all of them 50 like um Ace, even ASAP Rocky he said in the interview he's like yo I don't even smoke like no like I'm really not. just trying to focus on getting on this business. money like, that's, that's fact. what I'm trying to focus oh, yeah, on absolutely. getting this money absolutely. Like, so yeah, yeah. it's like even though it could be fun, you have a good time coming in and like the meetings and you smacked and shit. Like they, you should never go into meetings. Nah, but like yeah, well like, nah, I, I, like feel, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? It's like in my head, it's like yeah, you. Because I remember Nipsey that, Hussle was saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. Going like a room smelling like weed, everybody's gonna look at you like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, they're already gonna assume. Yeah, things they're about throwing you, things like, and they're gonna try to lowball you and like trick you and stuff. Like, yeah, they, they like, I'll give you, you an ounce and, and, and it's some CDs. Or no, not like, that. Like, <laughs> like out of your contract. That too. They got Chris Tucker like that. It's Friday. <laughs> he probably he was like that. He never got paid from it. I'm like, yo, you probably at that time wanted that weed in the in the CDs or whatever they gave you. Like, that's, what, that's the deal he made. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Damn, he know Friday. Yeah, because he was like, that's what he. That's why he never did none of the other ones because he never got paid for the first one. He said, like, well, oh, Ice Cube wow. gave oh. him some free weed and CDs. <laughs> <laughs> he said it like in the stand up. He was wow. that ad. I was like, wow, wow. like. And at the, I, but I'm saying he probably was cool with it at the time. Oh, at the it, time, he didn't of course. know how big Friday was going to be. Yeah, I mean, nobody. That's did, crazy. Like. I was just talking to somebody about Friday not making money and them not getting paid today. Today, oh yeah, like wow, today, yeah. I was just talking about this with somebody else. Because like when they that's did crazy. the other ones, they got more money or whatever, oh, but like they started it cutting people up. out. Like same thing with For uh, Forrest Gump, I believe. What? Like Forrest? they didn't think Forrest Gump was going to be as big as it was. That movie was good. They like lowballed it, and then it, when it came out, it blew up. Like it changed everything. Yeah. Another thing about sacrifices, do you think you guys could like change your diet up? You feel like you need to? Absolutely. My only problem with changing my diet up would be logistics. That's it. What do you mean? Like, uh, like, say I want to change my diet up to eat less X thing. Mm-hmm. I need to prepare food myself now. I can't go out to spots because going out to a spot will taint all that work that I've been putting in. Well, if you go to like a, a a nice spot that makes like good healthy food, it's still better to make your own food. Oh, because at the same time you're saving money. The portions are way better when you're making it yourself, and you're saving money. True. So you know you save <laughs> twice as <laughs> money. <laughs> Got that? You saving money? Like I think it's just Mike Jones saving. Money. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I feel like it's better to. Pretty much do everything yourself. But my thing, like I was saying, logistics, it's the preparation that I got to do. It's the bringing it to work, bringing it to X place. Like if I want to go out with y'all, I'm like, nah, I'm going to make, I got my own food. I already ate or something. So, I mean, that's part of, yo, real talk, that's part of, sometimes it's part of the journey, man. And no, that's kind of what I was getting to with like just the things to do. Sometimes you got to not worry about what it looks like, just how it gets done. Yeah. And, like, honing into shit like that, like, you wouldn't even, like, something small like that would just be, like, I right, fuck it, like, you know, if I got to carry a bowl around, like, you know what I mean? That's that's, that's real minuscule to the, the goal that you're to. the to end goal. So like, no, that's okay, a fact. If I got to bring a bowl into a little something, then it is what it is. Yeah. I'm going to try to, I'm, I'm more worried about, like, how this comes out, not what this looks like, how, you know what I mean? It's just, like, yo, let's. Get this the is, ball rolling. This is a fact, but carrying around all the bowls is Even if I else. look a little crazy, that should be. I know I'm going to get the goal that I desire. Oh, absolutely. And when I get it, nobody can actually tell me anything. Nobody so. can tell me nothing. Absolutely. What about you, Barry? You feel like you have to change your diet up at all? Or? Hell yeah. And I feel like, that's what I'm saying, like, with, with me, like, because it's like, I, like I, I don't know, like, um... I could eat twice a day and be and not and I'm not hungry all day. Like mm-hmm. and then some days I don't eat at all because I'm not hungry. And I'm like I don't know. I know that that's not normal. But I talked. I spoke to my doctor and I asked her about it. And um, she was like, if you're not hungry, don't force yourself to eat. Like, but I was like, but well, you know you're supposed to eat three meals a day and things like that. And she was like, like, yeah, but if you're not hungry, like don't force yourself. Like get like a smoothie. Make sure you have something in your body. But like don't so force yourself calorie to, to burn no. off I, I deal with that a lot but it's like for me it's like i'm trying to gain weight so it's like i can't just be eating like one meal a day i could like wake up like mad late and just have one like huge meal and then be good for the rest of the day and it's like yeah. but i don't want to do that though because yeah, i'm trying to gain weight so yeah. you know but i have a bad habit to do that i'm trying to change that well i i, I am changing it yeah let's what? create a diet plan live at nine i mean i i ain't i'm, I, I'm, I'm still gonna eat junk food <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still gonna eat my mcdonald's 
Ew, that uh, was gross. Yeah, I'm definitely that. not trying to eat any fast food. KFC, yeah, KFC, KFC, KFC got these fast, bowls. Fast, fast food to kill you, bro. That's a fact. Hey, I'm good. I'm, I'm I'm here you, for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> I <laughs> hear that. Yeah, I'm gonna meet you. I'm gonna meet you up there later, though. Word, that's a fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I'm gonna meet you in the. I'm gonna meet you in the. Where, ho- later. Hold down my spot next to Tupac while they performing <laughs> uh, Gangsters Paradise. <laughs> Yo, another thing is um, this is just like in general with just like getting into yourself, getting into a higher beam, man. You have to uh, it's kind of like what I was saying before, but you need you need to have a willingness to give up what you have to have what you don't. A lot of times, what you already have is blocking your success, success and your fortune and every desire that you have to get to that next step sometimes you just got to let go of that to get what you actually do not have because what you have right now is actually weighing you down and blocking you from those doors that you need to open that you can't yet no i totally agree with that because one example is we remember we worked at the nfo thing Mm -hmm. i was comfortable in that position i was was making money all that stuff but at the same time it was like why am I like? Why am I here right now? And I didn't prepare for like when it like and you know close exactly, but it's like I should have been. We knew it was gonna end. Yeah, like way. It was like I should have been like been, even though it was like an easy job and everything. Like it was easy money. It was still like this isn't what I want to do. In and life. it was mad time for us to. We had times legit where we would take naps at Facts. work. You could have been using that time to like apply for jobs. We could have been using that time to do anything, read them, like books, build a resume, further in ourselves. Like yeah. we could have used that time for I anything. Was, I was definitely using that time wisely. Like I was watching movies. I ain't gonna. I find. was definitely I was watching, watching Naruto, mad movies. I was writing stuff. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I always, I don't know. I got the best advice from somebody that came from jail, and it was like the best advice. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, comes sometimes from that's jail. the best yeah. advice. But it's true. It's like, you know how they be like, you know, they got your body, but they don't got your mind or whatever like that. And I just took that out of con. I took it to the context of like, oh, I put it right there. Right, my bad. I took it out of context to the point where I was like, wherever I'm at, like, I don't care. Like, um, I don't care. Like, uh, like if I don't want to be somewhere, like, period, I will mentally not be there. Like, you get what I'm saying? That's That's and it's, it, But it's like. It's weird because it's like I could it, it'll be anywhere like I'll be at school like it's like my mind like well just drift off yeah, to where I want to be at. yeah yeah so it's like yeah so it's like it's like the I feel like when you when you do that you could take you could cho- choose where you want your mind to be at and focus on what you want to do or whatever Absolutely. like that so it's I like what you're saying. Yeah, you get what yeah, I'm saying yeah, it's yeah. like all right you drifting off but it's like I'm not just daydreaming like I'm really just be planning different stuff right. like in my head like I like I so like I'll be writing stuff on a napkin or like. Like not on a napkin, like on the little papers around there. Like I'll just write down little stuff or whatever. Like I always just try to make sure I'm doing something like creative, because I'm like at least I know I'm getting paid and I'm working on something else or whatever like that. So that's why like I'm really not, I really don't try to get comfortable at any job because it's like I'm serious about this. Yeah. And I wanted to ask y'all a question since we're talking about this. Um, it's a quote. I want to know what y'all opinion is because I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about it for a while. It said hard work and perseverance isn't related. Hard work and perseverance isn't related. Yeah, that's kind of true. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I actually don't see how one doesn't go with yeah, the other. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> you <laughs> have to like. You have to continue to push through the uncomfortable zone that you've never been in before. That's that fact. takes a lot of hard work, though. So that's how it kind of goes hand in hand. You know what I mean? Because you have to. You have to stretch your mind, body, and soul to get uncomfortably comfortable in these realms in order to push through whatever you need to push through to get to the goals and the desires that you would like in life that's a fact and i i, but I, I look at it like because i was like um like with it not being related it's like it could be somebody that's working hard on uh, on something right and then you have that person that just has that will and like they're not gonna quit mm-hmm. like so it's like somebody could be working hard on trying to perfect something while the other person is like, I don't care if I'm doing it perfect. I'm just not going to stop regardless. Mm-hmm. Like, so okay, eventually you so it's like one person is learning from experience. The other person is learning, like from might be trying to read from books or something like mm-hmm. how to do something the perfect way. And then you got the other person that's like, 
yo, like, I'm going to figure it out on the way. So it's like, who's going to be, like, who would be more successful? It doesn't really, it's not Depends really. on the person. Yeah, it really does. But I'm saying you can't say hard work is the way to success. At, or but I feel like perseverance is more, like, if you have a perseverance spirit, like, if you could persevere through anything, like, you always going to be, like, like good. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you could hard, you could hard but, work at something, and then you could fail, and then you'd be like, damn, like. And then, like, somebody just doesn't, you, like, something could probably kill your spirit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was just like, it does go hand in hand, but it could also, like, be separated. And, like, I feel okay. like if you have perseverance, like, you always go on. Because like, you could be, like, persevered to be a bum. I think, I think your situation, <laughs> both situations give the same exact reason, though. Even if somebody is like, yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. I want to learn about this. I want to read about this. I want to hone in on working on the no. You just you you gave me two roads of life, but on the same kind of scale. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where one person is like, I don't really know how this works, but we just gonna figure this out. Like I'm gonna just I'm gonna proceed to the pavement until we get there. Where the other person is working hard the same exact way, but on the no. All right, before I even move, I want to try to figure some of this out. I mean, you know, this person comes to both, obviously, but. Yeah, no, I think it, it, it's two two lanes on the same scale. True, true. That's the only reason why I was like, I think they go hand in hand. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. even the person reading and all that, that's that's hard work. That's <laughs> true, do, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To do all that the same way for other people, it'd be hard work to just put your feet to the ground and be like, I'm gonna right, figure this I out. Will not stop. Yeah. It was yeah. just something to think about. I like, I just, I was, it just made me think of like that quote. Just made me think of like, damn, like, 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 because like, it's like I feel like everybody. Especially the fact that I don't know, like if y'all feel if y'all feel some type of way with that, that's so far gone dropping again to just make me remember back ten years like ago. Like I said, I didn't. Like, I'm just saying, ten years ago when that shit dropped, like uh-huh. like it just that that for me like was just like a a whole d like a inspirational mixtape like Lust for Life and like all the songs like it, it's successful like those are the, like when, that's like that age where you like 18 and you just see the world and you just like yo like I want everything or whatever like that and then when you at right. that point where you could where it's like like I look back 10 years and like I'm seeing like things that I've accomplished and I'm listening to it again and it's like it helps me like think about it like it's like hearing it all over again like yo like like you could still like it still makes you have the lustful life like I don't know I still feel the same exact way now and I'm like but I feel more wiser and more ready to like attack like, take in the knowledge as well yeah like I don't know that's that that mixtape is like just different like <laughs> Like that, it, it signifies the time, and then the warm up obviously is just. Like he was a in his bag. Yeah, yeah like he was true. working hard on that. Like I hope I make something close to that. Like that was that that was a a changing point in time. Like two thousand, was it two thousand nine? Right? Yeah, something like that. I was in middle school. I was yeah. in college. Damn. I should have been in college. <laughs> <laughs> I might have been in college. You was in, you was in the college of life, man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I was in a hard knock life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. School a hard I'm like, knocks. this is life right now. Like, yeah. This is terrible. Like, we don't get school lunch. We get like, we got pay. <laughs> now I went to I went to BMCC for like um, what? But that like community college is not the like real college experience to be honest. But like, I mean, no, it's not. It's not. It's not, it's not, it's not the university it's experience. Not. You still it's have a like, good time. Yeah, now nah, but it's different because it's like you going to school, you going to work, you got to take the train. It's like it's a lot going on. Like. It's just like, and you still like, it's like you still living at home. It's like, it's just not really like ideal. Uh, Being at college away is dope. I love it. I just wasn't trying to take out no loan or like, because like college to me was just, I feel like if I'm going to take out a loan for something, it got to be for something that I could do like, like a house or a car or something. Uh, That's that's a valid point. Yeah, because like there's people that really owe a lot of money to a school that they don't have the degree. Thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, I owe owe like forty two thousand. Woo! But it's not bad. I know people like that owes like six figures. No, this is a fact. With a master, so you this gonna, is you, a fact. You gonna pay I, I that off for forty years. I got out easy. I only paid forty. I got my master. I'm good. Yeah, or well, for masters, hell yeah. So. You that's why. That's why you went to school in South Dakota. They like they had like a better it was, deal. It was OD cheap. Going to school in the Midwest is mad cheap, and I, I, I wish more people in New York knew that because it's like I feel like they do. when they come out. No, no, they, 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 no they do, but they would prefer to stay here. No, but no. I feel like if you educated them, like if I could, no, like, I go, trust me. I had family. I had my cousin went to school in the Midwest, but he came back because he was homesick. Oh yeah, that's true. People do. People get from New York oh, get homesick. Oh yeah, I got OD homesick. You exactly. just got to persevere through it. But that's the difference. You <laughs> got that perseverance. You got that spirit. 
A lot of people, they don't. They, like, go through it, and they're like, this is mad boring. I could be at home in New York with my friends and going to school here and doing this and this and that, and then they just stay here. See, the one thing but about that is that sometimes, a lot of times, they'd be, like, mad shy or, like, be mad. Like, I was hella shy. I still am. But, like, you gotta at least talk to somebody, at least. Yeah. I feel like these people just be acting, like, all, like, I'm hood talking. and all that. It's like, bro, it's college. What do you, like, yeah, do? Have, yeah. like, like, have fun. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? And I feel like, I, like, that's what make me do, wish I did go away, because it's like, I feel like in New York, everybody does have, like, they feel like there's somebody. You know what I'm saying? And I've always just been myself no matter where I went. And it's like, it works for me, whatever, like that. And I always wanted to, what I always wondered, like, how would I be, like, in, like, I didn't, like, and to, to say what he was saying, I had no idea about like the Midwest or whatever like that. The only schools that would come around were schools that was like in the like, the, like the east, yeah, like not tri-state, but like the east coast, oh, like God. from Boston straight down to like maybe like the south or West Point. When I wasn't going to try to go to those yeah, other I, didn't, I didn't know South Dakota was a state until like high school. Yeah, like none yeah. of those schools yeah. from yeah, if they would have came to our school with the package deals that they was talking about. I would have been like, I bet, like, like, but. My main thing was I was trying to go to Penn State hard. Sports? That was the only school I was with. Penn State would have been dope. I heard uh, something. Nah, like my school, yeah. If you played sports. They, they, had, they had lacrosse or whatever, but like I didn't yeah, know what to play. They ain't coming around for lacrosse. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, they'd be recruiting hard, but not that hard. Not that. Yeah. Not, unless you're top, all, but my top. school was, well, was hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Rest in peace to my principal, Doctor Hodge. Yo, I gotta, I gotta really say that. Yo, he died this week. Like oh, yeah. that was crazy. Yeah, rest in peace. And um, he instilled in us in school, like, like the, we, it was Frederick Douglass Academy. It was like, without struggle, there's no progress and all that kind of stuff, like, growing up. So, like, like he definitely was, like, a big mentor. That's for sure. And it's like, um, that's what I'm saying, like, even thinking about, like, high school and stuff like that. That's the FDA, too. Yeah, FDA, yo. That was a real good school. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's like. It's like I I know I could have did better in school, but I just wasn't really. That's wasn't not what feeling. my mind was. Yeah, you no. Know what I'm mine saying? was on success and being on TV. Yeah, so it's like I feel like they need to change like a lot of curriculums. In they school. definitely do. I want to open my own school at some point. As you should. And I want people to work towards their goal how they work how they want to do it. Like I'm good with my hands, so I would rather be more. In the field in which uh, in the field that I want to do, exactly. instead of just reading about it, like give me something. You, I can read about it, but give me the thing that I want to do. Like if I wanted to be an actor, like put the cameras in people's hands and let them go out and do what they got to do. Show them how to do it and let them go out and do it. You'll be a great like director or actor if you have that ability or if anything. Bro, you know in anything. why they don't do that? Huh? My fault. You know, my fault to cut you off. But you know why I don't do that? Why? Because they need workers, man. This is true. That's a fact. No, that's Every, a fact. Listen, this is listen, true. just, just, I, I want y'all just real quick to just like zone into what we're talking about right here. We're talking about entrepreneurship right here. No, it's a fact. America, America, that's their worst enemy. The right. self made man. Yo, if y'all read up on it, a lot of people, um, that's what people used to be. That's honestly, that's how like a lot of people used to get their last name. Like, Mr. and Mrs. Blacksmith, they were blacksmiths of their village. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, I've heard about that. Like, shoemakers, all that. They were all, that's kind of what they they were in the village. And that's how they were able to get their last names moving forward. The problem was, you know what I mean, as the generation evolved and then the, the, the boom happened, at least for the first one within the Industrial Revolution, they needed more workers than they needed entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So what they did was they made everything as sequential as you being a worker down to school you come in at a certain time you sit down you listen to your quote-unquote teacher slash boss you have a lunch period for for hours and some change and then you get back to class after you play for a little bit after your little break and they teach and you about like the bells like they move it yeah they real like it's that little things that they they program for everything the same thing for school was the same thing in jail was the same thing for work. Us, especially young black men being entrepreneurs is America's worst nightmare. <laughs> that's a fact. They burn that's it down once. That's why they don't have schools like this. You that's know what fact. I mean? Like they 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 don't they don't highlight the trade schools where you're able to do the stuff that you're even talking about. This is true. No, I was just looking at they want you to spend forty, fifty thousand in college. 
Facts. that is going to come out your ass for the next five to six years. With interest. <laughs> With of interest. That's a... Mind you, they... Boy. They, all, the, all the rich colleges like fast. Harvard... Some people don't even got to pay because their yeah. father donated so much money. So it's yeah, like they, just, just, they just go straight in. And you don't even need schools like that necessarily. Because there are tons of sc- other schools out there that are better in certain they fields. Close, and they're trying to close down a lot of like HBCUs. That. Part of me wish I would have went to that uh, HBCU too. That would have been dope. That, like, you know. That would have been super dope. They got a lot of HBCUs out in and out. I don't know. I like. DC. Yeah, I see it too. I don't know. <laughs> I, I like this being like. Going to school with like different cultures and stuff, and like HBCUs is not just all black people, but it's that's like what time. I'm saying. That's why I want to go to somewhere that's more like mixed, like somewhere. That's why I like diversity. the Midwest because it's like so like diverse Everybody. and everything like that. But is it really that diverse? It is in the Midwest. It's predominantly. You'd be surprised. No, I trust me. I'm for, I lived in Colorado. Well, yeah, yeah, for yeah, it's yeah. not yeah. diverse. Not it's be different because it is more. It's like more white people. It's way more white. Because it's people. different. Yeah. It's not like it's white people, Asian people. Like I'm not, I have never been out there, but it's not hey, like how New York is diverse. Hey, know? hold up, hold up. So uh we we gotta go. But I feel like you got a the a video that you worked on, I believe. You talking about me? I'm yeah. talking oh, to you. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean Um You wanna promote that real quick before yeah, we bounce? Uh, yeah, real quick. I mean, for whoever's listening, um just follow me, Rosario Dimas. R O S A R I O D I M A S. Um, got a short film um, coming out soon. I'm dropping different scenes on the gram just for now. You know what I mean? Just to keep y'all entertained. Next one is coming out tomorrow. It's called The End. Okay. Yeah. Right. If y'all follow and y'all just follow along, everything will make sense sooner or later. There we go. There we go. Sounds good. All right, All right brother. Y'all. It was good it's talking. It's been real. It was great seeing everybody. In the chats and stuff. Good night, y'all. Everybody stay beautiful. All right, man.